Welcome to the Sky Podcast. He didn't do. Oh my gosh, that was a new phone. Ouch. Why? It I, hurts when you get a new phone and you just are so rough with it. <laughs> sa, sa mga nakikinig, that was me throwing my phone away para hindi siya maingay. Yeah, but yeah. you literally threw it away. Like, I tapon. threw it to a soft spot. Well, yeah, I know. But that still hurts my heart. <laughs> I can feel the pain. Sino bang mas, ano, malmal? Malmal ba yung, ano yung bisaya? Okay. You! Super really? you! With things? You are rough. less delicate. Yes, yes, you're rougher with the things that we have compared to me, I feel. I think I treat things more like tools than like, oi, parang sa isip ko like, you know, I should never be a slave to my items. <laughs> <laughs> yung parang, oh, tell the story of that one time, one of our rich friend's dads threw his phone, oh, was it? Yung kabarkada namin, sobrang yaman. Um, Alam mo yun dati na uso yung 8990. Hindi na makarelate ang Gen Z. Huwag na natin i-mention ang klaseng cellphone. Sabihin na lang natin, sabihin na lang natin iPhone 14. Ah, Gano'n na lang. Imagine iPhone. <laughs> I'm sure may hindi gano'n na. Basta it was, at that time, yung pinakamahal. It's like buying like an... An iPhone 14 today. An iPhone 14 gold. Like parang Uh-oh. yung mas, mas plus plus pa. Di ba? And then, parang palagi niya inalagaan kasi nagagasgas daw. This was at the time when hindi pa uso yung mga casing. Oh, oh <laughs> my gosh! Totoo! And then, parang nakikita ng dad niya na every time he places the phone, it's like parang sobrang delicate. delicate. Para hindi mag My tissue, my ganon. Kinuha. Eccentric yung dad niya. Kinuha yung phone. And then, he got a fork. And then, ginasgasan ng dad niya ng sadya. <laughs> Napaka-savage. Tapos, binalik. Sabi, you should never be a slave to your own things. Ang sakit sa puso. To, or something like, do, never be a slave to material items. Parang ganyan. Tapos, binalik. Kung ako yan, if I was the son, I would tell my daddy, Dad, grabe ka naman. Pwede ko pang i-resell yan. Bumaba yung value. Pero syempre, di nila naisip. Sobrang yaman nila. Kung yeah. ikaw yung love, what would you do? If ikaw yung son? Like, a- ako, like, yeah, but eventually, masisira din yun. Let me appreciate lang the, the time when it's <laughs> new. I mean, when you have new shoes, when you, when you walk, yung parang inaalagaan mo talaga kung saan ka pupunta. But after medyo madumi na siya, kind of over time, tend to like... You can go let go a little Uh-oh. bit. But you know, super savage talaga yung dad because I can't ever imagine doing that to Scotty. Yeah. Like for example, he asked me to buy him this, let's say, dinosaur egg that he really likes. And then when we get home, he's taking care of it. He loves it so much. As a parent, you're so happy to see that. Yeah. I can't imagine like getting a fork and like on purpose, <laughs> purposely vandalizing it. Diba? And like seeing the reaction sa face niya na what the hell? <laughs> Baka hindi mo, hindi mo rin alam na from my, from the dad's perspective, like parang the whole day yun na lang yung ginagawa mo. Baka Sig- yun, siguro. Yun. But even if Let's just say that was Scotty, right? Mm. Or Sevi in the future. Now the whole day, love na love niya yung toy na binili mo. Mm-hmm. For me, parang, oh, I'm so happy. He really loves it. I can't ever imagine, di ba? <laughs> Nakakatawa lang. Sobrang iba talaga. De, kung ako yun, eh, parang, oh, he loves it so much. Meron na akong leverage. Ah. Like, if I want to do the, do something, like, parang, I'll get it. <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> can you clean my car? I'll return your dinosaur toy after. Uh-oh. Next time, pag... <laughs> Ah, gusto mo ng PlayStation? Ah, sige, bilhan kita ng PlayStation. Tapos? Tapos, parang... Drive when, me around for one week. Pag na-enjoy nun niya, <laughs> eh parang, ah, sige, no PlayStation until you do this for me. Grabe, may kapalit! May kapalit! <laughs> Give them what they want and then take it away from them. <laughs> oh, that's so savage. <laughs> that's so mean. The whole thing about the not being a slave to your items, not that grabe naman na scenario, but I really can relate to it. That's also why I don't fancy getting super expensive things na, let's say for example, a sports car. Hindi naman na-afford natin. But yung parang, I can only imagine driving it around and then each and every time magpa-park yeah. ako, para shit, paano, saan ba ako magpa-park? Uh, hindi ba to magagas yeah. gas There's a lot of baggage that comes along with it. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm sure like parang this comes out a little bit out of like, syempre, wala tayong mga ganito. But, Sinasabi natin kasi hindi natin afford. Pero <laughs> afford natin, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> hindi natin alam. But for me, like even right now when we're slowly like parang nagsasucceed na tayo professionally, parang I try to put it in my head na even when I have an iPhone, kaya kong itapon lang. <laughs> or like mga MacBooks ko, di ba dati like parang 
I had a MacBook na may may dent because something yeah. fell on it. My camera. Now it's with Shai. Sorry, yeah. Shai. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, parang uh, it doesn't affect me as much because yeah. I have that mindset. Like mm-hmm. yeah, sayang kasi when I ibebenta ko parang hindi siya less na yung value, less na yung value and everything. But I I think a lot of it also is part of just not being tied up to material aspects. Yeah. So yeah. You know that's that's a that's a good insight because I know someone very close to me. Mm. I don't want to say who, but every time her car gets siguro nagagas gas or nabangasha, sobrang end of the world. Yes. And then she like makes everybody feel it, yes. even if it's not your fault. Parang she just is so emotionally attached to these items that when something goes wrong, it affects not only her relationship with the item but her relationship with other people as well. Yes. It's that heavy. Uh-huh. So it's nice also to be a little bit detached. So you can preserve your life outside of that item, you know what I mean? Oh, and it yeah. doesn't have to be expensive items. I've I've known people na parang, syempre, like, uh, nabangga yung mom ko one time. And yung kabangga niya, I am mean, yung, this was so long ago, nabangga niya, sobrang late lang nagasgas. And then, the girl was riding yung parang, medyo, hindi mahal na car. Mm-mm. I think it was a Kia Pride. Alam mo yung Kia Pride yeah. dati na very affordable. Very, very small. Ano. First, Pero parang yeah. it was, it affected the person so much na nabangga yung bagong kotse niya. Yeah. Na, so it doesn't matter if it's like an expensive thing or it's, um, it's but it's, sa isip ko siguro, like thinking over that, like parang, maybe she worked hard a lot yeah, for that. Yeah, or ano. dream, or first time siya nagka-car. Yeah. But even then, I feel like kailangan natin to have the certain level of detachment Mm-mm. from these items. Um, I remember mm. your dad always... He's the number one detached. He's so detached with everything. Um, he told us the story mm. once, I think, of you telling him... Was it you telling him to use an eye mask when you sleep? So that the light doesn't come into your eyes and you can sleep longer for deeper, something yes. like that. Uh-huh. And then he was laughing and telling me, like, I will never use an eye mask or anything to make my sleep more comfortable because when I get attached to that item, yes. now I can't ever sleep without it. Uh-huh. So yeah. your dad's style naman is very stoic. To detach before you get attached. Yes. Don't ever accept anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's his style. <laughs> Sa kanya, there's, there's a certain level na okay na. Uh-huh. And then there's there's a level where it's just too much. All the other comforts. But he's so uh-huh. simple. Na all the other comforts that he feels like is not necessary. Uh-huh. Ayaw na niya. Oh, like I have friend. I have a friend who called me recently. Kasi paano daw i-fix yung maliit na gap sa pintuan niya? Kasi when he sleeps, yun lang yung nakikita niya. Mm-hmm. Hindi siya nakakatulog. Mm-hmm. But this friend, parang sanay na kasi siya na dapat the pitch black. The finer things in dapat, life. Oo, oh, dapat malaming. Dapat everything is set up for him to sleep properly. Everything is set up for him. Oh, period. Oh. All the time. So, mahirapan ka talaga pag nasanay ka sa ganyan. Yes. To be a little uncomfortable makes it a very, very big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just to get, give you an idea of how my dad treats these types of things. There was one time my mom had a BMW. And then, nag-drive ako. I came from a date. And then, I was speeding. I was, uh, not speeding, but I was going fast. Mm-mm. I wasn't drunk or anything. Pero pag, I, I turned the corner and there was a bump. So, alam mo yung road na hindi siya perfectly flat? Mm-mm. Na parang may bulge siya. So, pag curve ko, may bulge siya and then parang nag-let go yung likod right. ng na wheel. And then, nag-spin around talaga siya. And Yikes. then, I it I ended up parked. This was pag teenager's time pa na. I'm not teenager, but college time. Na gusto pa natin magpapa, magbilis magtakbo. So, nag-drift yung car. Nag-drift yung car and then it parked on the sidewalk. Uh, airbag was released. Oh, gosh. And then, ang BM parang biglang automatic mag mag uh, ano siya mag emergency siya mag flash yung headlights and everything so parang shit total wreck talaga tong kotse nito so i called up my dad and he said dad uh, may kasalanan ako ano yun uh, ano bangga ako dito sa ano sa ano? it was like 12 of midnight uh-uh. sabi niya uh, okay ka naman di ba sabi ko oh okay lang uh, you call your brother, ask him to pick you up. <laughs> and then, sabi ko, ha, ah, okay, 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 okay. If you guys want to hear the full episode, you can... Check us out on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Spotify. It's free, guys. It's free. See you there. Hi, podcast. Hi, podcast. <laughs>